Okay, this is going to be a quick video on the Chandler Adler 167 industrial sewing machine. Typically I'm doing videos on machines that I own. Someone brought this machine in for me to, to adjust. And I just want to show a few things on the sewing machine quickly as I can here. The first thing I will show is how it's threaded. There's a lot of other videos on YouTube that are showing this, so I won't spend a lot of time on it. You go through this upper post, you wrap it around, go down into, let me sit down so it's not so shaky. You go down through this hole here, go through the tension discs here, under this disc, make sure that you pull this up so you click it over this little post right here over so that your take up spring is going to work when the take up lever goes up and down nice thing about these is this button right here if it's properly adjusted this is a tension disc release lever so you can pull on your thread and release the tension without picking up the foot okay then we're going to go through the take up lever through this guide another guide haul here and go towards the post with your thread and then I've also got the uh, bobbin case and bobbin here and I've got some needles here and I do have the original sheet from the sewing machine and I'm just going to use this to show if I can find it the correct needle for this machine it's a 134-35 the showing a 150 I believe that's about a size 22 I've got the needles here I've got the system 134-35 uh, LR the LR stands for left to right on the way it's going to cut the fabric when the needle comes through uh, it's a leather needle size 22 and also right here the diagram is showing your your bobbin case in the machine it's showing the correct way to wind the bobbin and put it in the bobbin case so that it's pulling against as it's coming through the machine and I'm going to put this on the tripod attempt to demonstrate that standing by in the camera let's see if I can do it okay I'm looking at the picture and it's showing the thread coming around like this pardon my dirty hands like so the bobbin case like this up I'm going to put it in and go this way. They can do that. Like that. So that when you're pulling, I don't lose the whole thing. It's going like this. Okay. Then we'll get over here. I'm going to go ahead and put this in the machine. As I said, there's a lot of other videos on YouTube that are going to show all this. But because I do have the instructions, and there might not be a lot of those out there anymore original paperwork from Germany I thought I'd just show that quick okay now I gotta leave this open a little bit I'm just gonna check the camera position gotta leave that open a little bit just till it grabs that thread
Okay, now we can actually sew. Let's catch that thread. Just turn it over by hand here. Grab that thread and bring it up. And once I've got it up here, I can go ahead and shut that cover. And I'm just going to hit the button, that take up button I showed you, and pull a little more thread. Get these cut off at a reasonable length. Okay, what I'm going to be sewing here is going to be three layers of leather. I've already made a few test runs here. I'm on a little bit, I'm going to make a little bit longer stitch. And what I want to do is raise the foot, put my leather in, keep this thread to the back, drop the foot down. I'm going to get a hold of this. I'm going to go a little bit longer with that. And then what I want to do is a, a little bit more. Bring the needle down, put it just into the fabric, and bring this thread around the front like this. So this foot's the first stitch, this foot's going to step on that thread. And I'll just take it down and bring it up a little bit, and then I can go. You see the walking foot, well, let's slow it down a little. The walking foot can walk right up and over these different layers of leather. And then when I turn around, or turn a corner, take the needle down, have it start to come up a little bit, and then you can lift your foot and turn. And that way I can make, I'll just try to do one stitch, and let it come up again. Pick up the foot, turn, and come back. And this way you can see you don't lose those stitches on the when on the turn. So I've got this machine adjusted so it's stitching pretty nicely on three layers of uh, leather. And the machine does have reverse. If you don't have uh, reverse on your machine, just turn your hand wheel until the take-up lever is all the way up. Pick up your uh, foot, set it back down, get the needle as close to the hole that you just sewed, bury it, and just do two more stitches. And there you just uh, lock the stitch without having reverse. I always pull it off to the right here because that's the way the thread's coming through the needle. So just to keep the resistance as low as possible, when I pick up the foot, I push, pull it off to the right. And then you can see that I didn't run in reverse. I just pulled the fabric towards me, put the needle in two stitches back and lock the stitch that way. That's for people that don't have reverse on their machine. This machine does have reverse. And let me get my threads all lined up. Okay, I'm going to put the needle down like that, pull this thread, the needle thread over, bury the needle. Here we go. And then I can just hit the reverse on this machine. Back stitch a couple stitches. And that way that's locked. Okay, and just one other thing I wanted to show on this video since I Just want to quickly show what I'm using to run the machine. Okay, I'm going to get back off the tripod here. Good, it's still recording. What this is, is I just made this up for, for when I'm working on sewing machines, industrial sewing machines. It's just some three-quarter inch plywood. 
with the one by two here in the back is the backrest. I've got the servo motor laying flat here with the wires going over to this is the controller. My wires are going over to this uh, motor, servo motor over here that I just mounted on the plywood. And then I did have to uh, just use some trailer wire, three strand trailer wire, to go down to. Typically, this would be on the bottom of your table, this part right here. But I just made up this little uh, wooden foot pedal arrangement here. Um, made it really big so I can put my foot anywhere on there and press down on it and uh, that'll go up to the controller here send the signal to the motor and then I did have to make up a uh, short belt and pay no attention to this this just came this was on the guy's machine when he brought it it's doing nothing just hanging here I had to make up a short belt and then what I do is I just push the machine back lean it back and then tip it back ahead and it'll the feet of the industrial machine will sit against this backrest and keep the belt tight or I can loosen this 7 8 nut here and move this motor either forward or backward to tighten my belt but it doesn't it doesn't take much to run one of these industrial machines there's enough friction on the pulley and the V-belt that it's going to run the machine without a problem so there it is. Thanks for watching.